Oh yeah, hey yo, we coming straight from 315, having problems with problems and you can't arrive at the answer x equals what? Let's learn this chapter with a manly strut. Now you're gonna hear from my boy, Calculator! Uh -huh. Yeah, I know, you don't really care about the diagonals of a square. So let's start slow and take it simple and I'll make your brain pop just like a pimple. A parallelogram is opposite parallel sides and there are three other shapes that abide by the same rules that the p-gram does. And all sides congruent will make a rhombus. And if you want to make a rectangle, just create four right angles and if that shape has congruent sides a square gets created you think i lied well there are two quads that live by their own rules like a group of dark handsome tools who go around steal all your girls but who needs girls when you have mr conroy one parallel set makes a trapezoid and i promise that's a shape you can't avoid and the non-parallels are congruent it becomes isosceles i can't prove it and adjacent congruency is the most fun for you and me, you won't be flying, but that's alright. You still know how to make a kite. Chapter 6 really packs an awful lot of lots and facts. All you kids memorize this song and you start to sing along. After you listen a time or two, you know quadrilaterals do and do. Let's go, baby! I got theorems in theorems coming out my butt. My name's a cute angle, and you know what? Parallelogram opposites are congruent. The angles are as well, so let's review it. The diagonals will bisect each other, and I'll go out to dinner with your mother. If congruent lines are cut in one transversal, you can bet they're cut in every transversal. Rhombus diagonals are angle bisectors. I bet this information has open doors for all the real life applications like. And it's a rhombus. The diagonals are perpendicular, while congruent diagonals are rectangular. And yeah, this map is really fun, but it's about time that I am done. Chapter 6 really packs an awful lot of lots and facts. All you kids memorize this song and you start to sing along. After you listen a time or two, you know quadrilaterals do and do. Third degree at the mic. Gotta give a shout out to all my boys in the 304. Yo, Andrew the Peens. I know you learned a lot of math, so let's learn some more. Remember trapezoids and kites? I could do these problems all night. Isosceles trapezoids have congruent base angles. Just ask my boy Matthew, right angle. Not only that, but diagonals are congruent too. Revolutionary stuff like the red and the blue. Perpendicular diagonals make a kite. And my grip paper is a beautiful sight. When I plot my quads on the coordinate plane, I got distance and midpoint to drive you insane. Cause give me a shape and I'll tell you the slope. As sure as you are that my rhythms are dope. The mid segment of a trapezoid is really sweet. It's the halfway point where the lines meet. And if you add the bases and divide by two, you're gonna get the mid segment. Woohoo! I know I killed it on the so keep doing math until next time. David the Hammer, Courtney, even Zach Taylor sing along to this. Chapter 6 really packs an awful lot of lots and facts. All you kids memorize this song and you start to sing along. After you listen a time or two, you know quadrilaterals do and do. Remix. Well, howdy, kids. I got theorems and theorems coming out my butt. 